Welcome to the Doa and Deuce Podcast. I'm Doa. This Biggie. And, you know, this is our first podcast. It's about entertainment, sports, sports gambling, and everything else, and current events. So, uh, today's subject, we're going to start off with uh, the NBA. Right. Alright. So, the first thing we want to go over is our, you know, our power rankings. Alright. Our top five NBA teams. You know, me personally, I'm a Knicks fan. You know, and down with the Wizards. And I won't see the Knicks in the top five. I, I promise you that right now. But we working. But uh, my fifth team is the Toronto Raptors. Uh, the reason I got Toronto Raptors because uh, you know, they got a good um, win loss total. But uh, I just feel like their backcourt is stable. You know. The coaching is good. Dwayne Casey, that's the coach. Dwayne Casey, the coach. Uh, who the coach up there? Think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Whoever the coach you, you is, you get fired real quick. Yeah, they, the black coach. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's the coach of the team. But it's stable. They do uh, he does a good time, a good uh, deal with the team, and you know they got Drake. So hey, you know they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, my number four team is the L.A. Clippers. Um, the Clippers, you know, they are who they are. They'll, they'll be up there in the regular season, but they'll find a way to not make it to the Western Conference Finals. So, uh, you know, Chris Paul, appreciate you, what you're doing. Blake Griffin, y'all did enjoy it, but, uh, yeah, if that's going to be its core three, playoff time, that's not going to last. All right, because DeAndre Jordan, I always say, he's the guy who gets off early every, every he has a perfect job, he gets off early every day. So, in the, you know, playoffs, you know, last five minutes of the game, you can foul him, hack and shack him. He's not gonna be late in the game, so yeah, I'm not gonna trust that. Number three, San Antonio Spurs. Greg Popovich does what he do. You know, he, there's a system that never stops. Uh, um, um, Kawhi Leonard is definitely uh, the best two-way player besides LeBron James to me. Uh, he definitely does what he's supposed to do, and Marcus Aldridge is playing great. But yeah, they'll be heard from. And, and uh, number two, Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, I know it is what it is, but King James is King James. You know, they could be number one, but nah, I'm put them number two. I'm, I still shake. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm shook from last year of losing my bread on that, you know, <laughs> that boy BS. But uh, number one is Golden State. Come on, they got Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, and uh, Steph Curry. So, you know, you know, the rich gets richer. So for this week, that's gonna be my top five. Um, do switch your top five. All right, you got my, here go my top five. A little bit different than my man does, but both. We starting off with Toronto. We, they up in the six. They hooping hard up there. DeMar DeRozan out there cooking. Mid-Rangers, Kyle Lowry, all they, they, they looking all right, you know, but they, they still ain't, doing, ain't making no noise. They ain't making it to the finals. But they number five. Number four, this will be different. I got the Spurs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They they young and old at the same time. What's his name? Um, Gasol. His defense is suspect. A world on the street. I heard Tim Duncan is looking good. <laughs> he might he might make a comeback. Yeah, I'm telling right. you. Go ahead. Watch out! I'm telling you. They say he's in a uh, facility every day, mm -hmm. working out. And, and they might they, they might be the biggest rest of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pop the dish. Hard gun. Bring him back to the playoff time. You know. The number three. I got the Clippers. The Clippers is hooping right now. CP3, Blake, DeAndre, you know, they hooping. JJ Reddit, you know, they, what, they lost two games so far this season? Who they small forward again? It's about to be Rudy Gay on the low. <laughs> but, but we, we, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see about that, but yeah, they need, they need a small forward, though. Right. Number two, Cleveland, you know, Braun, Braun, Kyrie. Kevin Love, J.R. Smith, Schumpert, Trisha Tom, they, you know, they looking good this year. They, I always knew that they were going to take them a couple years to get right. Mm -hmm. They want me right the first year. I was surprised they wanted the second year, but this was the year I really thought they were going to be good. Yeah. And they finally showing it, you know. They, they showing it, and then the phony Eastern Conference is a clear path to the finals. They won't win it again. And then number one, you know, Golden State Warriors. These dudes dropping a buck fifty a game. KD getting open looks. Ridiculous. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Draymond doing what he do. Man, they looking really good. They looking good. I, I think, like I said, before the season started, I had them winning it, 
And I don't got nobody beating them in the seven game series. Yeah, but that's my top and, five for right now. Yeah. And, uh, and beyond injury, I don't see nobody beating them. You know, the only way they could lose is they beat themselves and Clay Thompson gets mad and say trade me or some stupid stuff right. like that, but I doubt it. Right, so Clay right Thompson. now, that's, that's, that's the DJ top yeah. five. Shout out to Clay Thompson for drinking a beer in the interview. I appreciate that. That, right, that was cool. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. That's some 1980s joint. All right, um, let's talk about uh, Kyrie Irving. You know, you a big thing about Kyrie Irving, about you think he's putting the numbers because he's playing with LeBron. Right. You know, like I said, I'm a Knicks fan. I see Kyrie put up numbers on us without LeBron, with LeBron, with uh, what's my man Deion Waiters is back with me. So Kyrie Irving, I think he would have been a, uh, a guy who's always gonna put the numbers, but it's, he's winning now. So now it's oh, he's putting up numbers. No, he always put up numbers. Right. It's now he's winning. Right. You know, it's he can pick his spots. You know, and at first I think he was reluctant when LeBron first got there to do stuff like that. But now it's like I, right, you know, LeBron saying, look, I'm I'm older. You wanna get off? Go ahead, and get off. You know, and so he said, I'm receptive, you can do it, go ahead and do that. All yeah. right, and we're a different coach, you know. Oh, yeah, different coach. I just think, like, I'm just watching the game, it's just so easy, you know, like, now they can't double team Kyrie no more. True. So, you can't stand him one, you can't stand in front of him one on one. Right. And then you got, you got Kevin Love and them spaced out, so you gotta be out there. So, that's why it seemed like it's so easy for him to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. So, I was just thinking, like, is he a, he a product of LeBron Braun or. It's him. Yeah, I, and then, you know, he, he gets his he bucket. nice. But he always goes dolo. He always used to get hurt, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been getting hurt since college. So, right. we got to see if he can make it through. I think he's one of the guys that, if you make him number one guy, and he has, it's not obviously to me. Because obviously was, uh, what's that, durable. Right. You know, right. he can go to the free throw line and all that good stuff. Right, right. But uh, Kyrie, he's, I think he's a good second fiddle. He'll never be a great number one. Yeah, I saw people comparing Kyrie to AI. I was like, no. Nah, no, AI. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. AI to the Philly to the finals. <laughs> yeah. With Kyrie Irving Irving Snow and them, whoever, Aaron McKee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The top one, the <laughs> my the, man, the, the my man that gave um, homeboy the bow down. Um, oh, Tyrone Hill. Tyrone Hill down Miami gave him the bow. <laughs> 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 give him the bow. Right, right, but, right. Uh, yeah, you know, but then we got Kevin Love and his uh, master. Let, let, let me talk about this. <laughs> my man, Kevin Love. It had to be the phoniest 40 points ever. <laughs> like, 40 is 40, yeah. but 40. you dropped 34 in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. How you only end up with 40? You probably had like 50, 60. This dude had 34. I mean, he had 40 points. He had six points or six shots. Six shots, yeah. Then you, I, look, I looked at the stat line. Mm -hmm. This dude only had six shots the rest of the game. Yeah, they weren't feeding him. Though. They was hating. <laughs> Tyler, Bron, Bron, Kyrie. They like, yo, we didn't let him go off. He ain't had a franchise record of points. We not giving the ball. How did you cook him like that in the first quarter and you don't give him the ball the rest of the game? True. If I was Kevin Love, I'd say, yo, get me up out of there. <laughs> this is my last season. I can't play with these dudes because they're some haters. Yeah. I know the inner circle was talking about that. Yeah, they, they definitely was hating. I, I don't get how you only have 40 for the whole game yet, 34 in the first quarter. Right. Like, if, if he'd have been... 34 in the third quarter, mm -hmm. then uh, you know, that's a yeah, clean game. That's a mean ass game. Yeah. But when you dropping, you, it you cooking it. No, it was it wasn't really a bad blowout. It was like 20 points. Like it wasn't like like he yeah. won like like a 40 point yeah, win. He still played a whole bunch of that game. He played 32 minutes. Yeah, so there's no reason for you only had six more points. Yeah, but uh, you know, hopefully he make the All Star team. <laughs> yeah, he he should have made it last. He got jerked like they had the best record and but they had two all stars. Yeah, or one. Just no, the Did Kyrie make it. The Kyrie made it. Kyrie got voted in. I think he was. They wasn't the star. No. Nah. Oh, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, 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 Kyle I would beat him at the end. I don't think Kyrie didn't make it. No, he didn't make it because um, uh, uh, Kyle. Damn, did he? I don't think he made. it. They were talking about that. How they get one all star? I don't know. Cause you know he, he started the season late, didn't he? Yeah, he did because he was hurt. Yeah, he started yeah, shooting. Well, there's, there's no option. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So he'll he, he definitely be an all-star. Yeah, he should be. I was definitely going to get Because John Wall made it. That's what yeah, my man John Wall, Wall made it. John Wall was it. All right, next, you know, I, I want to um, talk about, like I said, I'm a Knicks fan. So the Knicks are transitioning, you know. They used to be the Carmelo's team. And, you know, in the beginning of the season, I felt like Carmelo was like, all right, well, let me do my, my, my team type thing. And then now I think they're transitioning. It's funny how the Knicks are, are winning now since, uh, Phil Jackson said uh, they're not running enough of the triangle. And now they run the office through Porzingis. And, you know, a lot of New York media was saying that they're getting tired of seeing a whole bunch of Carmelo Isos. Me, I like the Carmelo Iso in the fourth quarter when we're up or we're trying to win the game. Yes, but not during the game. Like, not during the middle of the games unless Carmelo's super hot. So, I'm, you know, I'm happy that the Knicks are winning finally. You know, Derrick Rose, everybody's like, oh, Derrick Rose. 
I knew he was gonna take time because he was dealing with his to trial and um, out on the West Coast. Stuff, yeah. So now we you can see that we're we're, we're running. You know, we got the, the offense is fluent, and I feel like if you could win it, if, if Jeff Hornacek could win forty eight games with. Bledsoe, <laughs> that court, and uh, whoever else there, uh, Gor um, Gorachak, no, 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 yeah, Dragic, Dragic, whatever yeah. the name is, I think you do it with Brandon Jennings and right. Courtney Lee and, and all the, and, and the Eastern Conference. So, right. and I really think, you know, people think I'm crazy. I really think the Knicks are going to win, um, not go to the Eastern Conference right. finals. We'll, we'll, they got we'll, enough. We'll, we'll get demolished by people. They got enough talent, though. For Zingas, yeah. you're ready. He's the future. He's ready. I, I was sleeping on that pick. Yeah. I was too. I'm I was sleeping. I felt like, yo, the Knicks get moody, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like that. I was too. I'm not going to lie. But we ain't know no better. Yeah. Right, of course, this is why I'm not GM. Yeah. The Zingas ready. You and know. then Melo, you know Melo. People been yeah. sleeping on Melo because, mm. you know, the Knicks been losing. Yes. But you see the other night, last night, matter of fact. Game winner. Well, um, oh, Charlie. Gilchrist. Yo, Gilchrist. Man, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. He was too little. Like, I already knew it was buckets. Melo is the Melo. Wait, who, who said it? Similar to Melo with the game winners. Oh, man. Might have been Jada. Someone wanted to rap. What a rap. It was like Melo signed him up. So, on the low, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Wizards fan, but I'm rooting for the Knicks to you know, get back. Yeah, you know, I have, I, have, <laughs> I have some money out here on the Knicks. You know, I need them to win, um, to win some more <laughs> games for me. All right, next we'll go with uh, Russell Westbrook versus James Harden. Right, right. You know, these two right now are living the dream of every ball hawk in America. <laughs> these are Kobe's kids, all right? <laughs> They are just doing whatever they want to do on the court. They got the ball in their hand all, you know, day, long. all day long. Don't have to worry about nobody complaining. First time someone <laughs> in the media complain, and they ask for a trade, they'll be crying. That person in the media will be shipped out of town. So, uh, yes, uh, they're living the dream. But the thing is, I don't know how Westbrook does it. Like, I understand Dan Tony's offense and all that, and James Harden, but Westbrook, he's like the kid that never gets tired. Like, I play back. We're going to uh, you know, start talking about uh, the seeds of Kobe. Uh, Russell Westbrook and James Harden, you know, they're living every ball hawk's dream, aka right. Melvin Curry's. <laughs> <And you laughs> Mel Bosky. <laughs> Mel Bosky, we shout him out. Uh, yes, uh, they're doing their thing. Like I said, um, I think Westbrook, he's the kid that, like I said, never gets tired. I never see, look at Westbrook and go, man, he looks tired. Right. He plays hard. You know, a lot of NBA players, I think they have, they're talented, but they don't play hard like he plays hard. Harden, I can't say he's a product of the offense because he's always put up numbers. Right. I feel like he's in a rich man's off now. He's rich right. getting richer. Now he get more, I'm saying, more assists. Twelve more. assists a game. Right. That's crazy right. for him. And he's a bobo king. And he, right. He's definitely a free throw line right. flop king. Flop. J. Harden, the flop king. The flop king. No D. <laughs> and he will fly. I swear I only see how the referees give you all these calls. Yeah. I'll be heated, but he'll get definitely get buckets. Yo, yo, man, it would excellent. Don't take excellent. <laughs> But put him in a spin cycle uh -huh. with a fadeaway, step back fadeaway. Bang, right in there, cash money. But, but Westbrook, like, look, look at Westbrook. Westbrook, the dude, like, the old play against me or you, mm -hmm. and plays like he playing against Jordan. It, 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 and that, that's he goes hard no matter what. He definitely like he doesn't care. He don't like, care who you, he can play against my son. <laughs> <laughs> he the type of dude who wants to beat you and want to destroy you. I feel like he's well, and he's motivated because KD's not there. Right. So, you know, but I always tell people, you know, they're not going to the playoffs. Yeah, I don't think they're going to. They, they go, he going to put his numbers, get a triple double, mm -hmm. maybe lead the league in scoring. Right now, he'll average at 32 points, 10 assists, did 9 have, rebounds. Yeah, 50 shot game. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> had, had a cool, what he had, 18 reads the other night. Like, yo, would be, but yeah. I don't think they're going to playoffs. Uh, I think, I think he's, and I think he's going to realize it's all cool to do this, but you want to win. Right. <laughs> yeah, then, then you want to win. I think he need. I think he, he need to go and go to L.A. Yeah, well, you know, with the well, young boys. I, I think L.A. is kind of all right where they at. Right, know? but you need, but you get Westbrook. That's gonna take you. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna get? Top three seed. You know, no, you yeah. about to be a free agent. Well, you don't give up anything. You just signed a two year. Yeah, yeah, then them two years up. Uh, don't give up L.A. Lakers. Don't give up nothing. Yeah, well, just wait it out. Yeah, don't do the Carmelo. <laughs> yeah, don't do don't do the mellow trade and give all the, give yeah, all the prospects and stuff. Yeah. No. Just sit on him. Just sit on him. By the time he by the time he come, Ingram be ready. Yeah. You know, and all the rest of the G's, you know what I'm saying? It'd be, it'd be all right. Yeah, uh, and I just wanna shout out uh, Zach um, Levine for the dunk of the year already. Uh excellent, poor excellent. I don't know what you're thinking. Disrespecting my boy as well as man, like yo. Posterized him. That was uh disrespectful. Dis disrespectful. <laughs> come on, Asley, you're so uh, funny. You should have hacked him. How to do it with Stephen A. Smith? That was disrespectful. <laughs> my inner Stephen A. Smith. But uh yeah, uh, Zach Levine, yeah, he's definitely had the uh dunk of the year already. Um anybody else? 
Uh, hope you have somebody else get a better dunk than that, but right now he, he definitely has the dunk of the year. Right, right. All right, right so we're going to take an intermission. Right. And, uh, you know, we'll be back. Welcome back to the Doe and Deuce podcast. Um, right now we're going to um, switch subjects. We're going to go to the NFL. Everybody love the NFL. <laughs> yeah, the No Fun League. <laughs> we're going to do our power rankings in the NFL, you know. Like I said, I tell everybody, I preface mine on gambling, basically who I trust and who I don't trust. So a uh, team could be seven and three, but if you lost me some money, I'm not putting you in my top five, <laughs> point blank, period. All right, it is Atlanta Falcons, you know who you are. All right, um, number five, Denver. Their defense, they have something that a lot of teams doesn't have, a great defense. You know, that Super Bowl defense is not a fluke. They're proving it because they have a quarterback I never heard of before. He took a snap, Simeon, with right. Northwestern or something. But um, they're winning games, and they're winning a game with a bum quarterback. And, you know, as a Raven fan, we got Joe Flacco. We can't win no games. So, yeah, I got to give them their props. They are number one, number five. Number four is Oakland. Um, their offense is crazy. Uh, I was at the game when they came to Baltimore and beat us. I was hurt, you know, sad, but uh, it was what it was. Uh, their defense is kind of shaky, but they could put points up. And the AFC West, is, you know, I think they have the best division besides the NFC um, East. Uh, number three, New England Patriots. Uh, Tom Brady's Tom Brady. Uh, he does what he does. He might win the MVP after missing the first four games. That's crazy. And uh, their defense is kind of shaky. Their defense doesn't scare me. I, that's why, you know, as a Baltimore fan, I'm not scared to go there in the playoffs and uh, play them. But you know how they do. You know, they're going to pick some tricks out the bag. Uh, number two, Seattle. It's taking, it's taking their time to get their groove, but, you know, they're getting, it, getting together. They're winning games. Uh, you know, they had that tie early in the season against uh, um, Arizona, which cost me money again. Right. Uh, that, I was hurt about that. That would have been a great weekend for me, but it was a good weekend. But, um, yeah, Seattle, uh, West, West, uh, West, 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 Wilson, he's definitely doing his thing. Um, he's, he's focused. He's getting the office line is coming together, hopefully. He's getting more time. And number one, oh, man, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they got the best office line in football. They got the funniest fans of football. I work with a Dallas Cowboy fan. He's scared to gamble with him. You know, I call him the Lou Holtz of the job because, you know, every time Dallas plays somebody, I was like, hey, Chuck, I get like eight, nine points. Nah, we playing uh, Philadelphia Eagles. You know, uh, that rookie quarterback is great. Like, okay, whatever. But the Dallas Cowboys, uh, the running back is probably one of the best running back in football on top three. Zach Prescott, who would have thought? This guy was going to start this year. First, the backup quarterback is hurt in the preseason. The Tony Who's Romo. The left uh, The left-handed guy, Kevin, well, um, um, the dude at Boise State. Oh, um, Kevin Moore, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The automatic cover. Yeah, the automatic cover. Automatic cover. Kevin Moore. You know. Anybody didn't know about gambling in Boise State. Boise State Moore. trained back then. Yes, they covered a lot of spreads <laughs> out there. Uh, I missed out on maybe a couple of them. But uh, Kevin Moore got hurt in the preseason. Uh, he was out for the season. And then um, Tony Romo got hurt in, in preseason. And then they had the Dak Prescott play. And now, me, I'm, I watched Dak Prescott enough in Mississippi State and gambled with him enough to know that uh, I wasn't that uh, sure of him, you know. But he, he had a hot year, the, like, the, what was it, the year before? The he, had a, year. he had a hot his, year, and he kind of fell off. Yeah, his stats are legitimate. It's like, yeah. it's, he, he owns a lot all the stats in Mississippi State. But um, I definitely got to get Dak Prescott his, his, his just due because, you know, a lot of Tony Romo fans say, well, Tony Romo could have did this. Well, Tony Romo's not doing this. You know, a lot of people always say well, someone couldn't do it, but he's not. All right, Dak Prescott is doing it. He's durable. He's staying in the games. And I would tell people, if Tony Romo was in the game, they wouldn't really run the same plays. Right. All right. right, right. They, they say, hey, just what we want you to do, that's all we want you to do. We don't want you to do no more, no less. Hand the ball off. Throw these easy reads. Jason Witt's open. Tony Romo, how many five-pick games we watched of him in his career? You know? I don't know I lost in this D. Yeah, yeah, I, I, mean, I, yeah I, I, I lost. I'll never been with Tony Romo ever again in my life. So all you Cowboy fans who want Tony Romo in the game, okay, y'all might get that Drew Bledsoe moment in um, <laughs> back in New England when they had Tom Brady take over. Y'all might have one game, but the whole season, tell me that year Tony Romo, what was that playoff season that Tony Romo threw anything? No. I don't know. I remember him dropping an extra point and all that field goals and stuff like that. So, yeah, you can have Tony Romo. Who are your top right, five? This is a deep biggie top five. I honestly didn't even have a five, but <laughs> by default, I'm going. I'm going with the of the boys up to ninety five mm. Redskins. Uh. Even though I. I was sleeping on them all season. Mm. Kirk Cousins, I was just straight disrespecting him all season. <laughs> you like that? Like, 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 like you know what I'm saying? He's legit though. You know, he about to get paid. He's better he get, he better himself. He about to get paid. You know what I'm saying? It just I watched them. It just seemed like 
All he do is throw the ball underneath. Yeah. And he, you know what I'm saying? Get the um, Cowboys past me. Mm -hmm. Hit all them yards for what, like 20 points, two touchdowns? Right there, it's kind of weak. It, the yards is good, but it's kind of weak. Yeah. So, I mean, the skins is definitely looking good. They had that tie in your, um, overseas against Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. that they, Cost some money, too. And they, they could have definitely won that game. Did they kick yeah. a missed field goal? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, they they should have won that game. I lost some money on that. They should have won that game. Yeah. Number four, Oakland. You know, the young boy, Derek Carr, mm. Michael Crabtree, mm. Amari Cooper, you mm. know, like, they, they playing ball, they winning, you know. I still think it's some frauds, mm. but they, they winning, though. I got to give them credit. They pulling them games out, you know. You they pulling them the games way. out. Number three, people be mad at me, Cowboys. Mm. Mm. America's team. I look at the Cowboys, they winning, right? Mm. The Cowboys remind me, if you, you my, like, NCAA tournament, you got the one number one seed from the Pac-12 mm. that's going to lose. You know they're going to be the first team to lose. Hey. That's how I feel about the Cowboys. Yeah, they, they got the best record right now, yeah. but they're going to lose in the playoff. They're not winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> and honestly, for me, honestly, I think they want to win the Super Bowl straight up. They got to go to Tony. I think Tony mm. will take them there. Prescott, I don't think he's going to be ready for the prime time. Like, no. I think if you, you want to get that, you need that veteran presence mm. that's going to take you to the top. Wait, wait, what president Tony Romo ever did? Yeah, like, hey, it's the new year. And I think, I think Tony will take him, take him there. Yeah. Down low, Dad Bryant, he know he want Tony in there. Of course, because you yell at Tony. <laughs> yeah, you yell at that. Yeah, but Dad can't <laughs> give him the rock. Well, yeah, but he don't yell at him. <laughs> yeah, he want Tony back in there. Number two, Bella checking them. New England Patriots. Mm. You know, they, you know, so they consistent every year. I don't know how the hell they win every year. <laughs> but they playing the 40th of the season. Like, you play the Jets and Buffalo get and Miami? They're guaranteed to get five or six wins yeah. in division. They won a division 10 years straight. Yeah, they, go, they get home field, so that's why it's easy. Number one, I, I like Seattle, you know. Wilson doing the thing. I, I know they got a new, I got a running back that's getting busy. Yeah. They finally get, um... Graham, um, Graham, Jimmy, Graham, Jimmy Graham involved, you know. The ball win. Whew. Right, so... I like them. I, on, on, on the real, I sort of like them to win the whole thing, you know. They get that. I think they're going to make up for that year that they... <laughs> gave it away? Yeah, gave it away. Of course, the money. Gave it away. You said they ran the ball and gave oh, it away. Man, but, man. I, that, that's my top five. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to talk about our boys. Yeah, you know. Our boys. Ravens. Five and five Ravens, right? Woo! Five and five, right? Yeah, we still first place, right? Oh, we we'll got half a game out until we play Sunday. Yeah, who knows? You know what I'm saying? We got, we got the Bengals this week. Yeah, no AJ Green thing. Right, thank you. Because... <laughs> AJ Green kills us. Disrespected every game. Uh, Hell Murray. We know the ball going to him. We know the ball going to him. Yeah, he so, still catches. So I want to see what Andy Dalton going to do without his main man. And the running back hurt too. Yeah, but no. Yes. Yeah, you're out too. You know, you know Andy Dalton. Uh, you know at Cincinnati. I, I, all Cincinnati fans. I want. I want to tell y'all. I'm sorry because I've been bet, betting with y'all the whole season. Y'all been losing. You know. So yes, I've been costing me money, but y'all been losing because of me. But uh, the Ravens. What's wrong with the Ravens, man? I was right with the Ravens. <laughs> right, what's right? The, the front seven. I yeah. think the front seven is right. Well, no know? doubt, no doubt. You no know, doubt. I give him that. But uh, that back, Webb, you know how Webb, he old. He old and overrated. Yo, don't be getting smoked. Like, come on, man. How you can't make them tackles? Yeah, he's definitely. Uh, Letting dudes run right by him. Like, come on, yo. Yeah, Webb, I'm not a big Webb fan. But Jimmy Smith, you know, if you didn't know how important Jimmy Smith was to the team, now you know. All right, Odell Beckham. He said, you know, before the, when Jimmy Smith got hurt, we had like two catches. Yeah, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Second half. Very wild on us. Right. But Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, only one. Dan Bryant. Bryant. Well, I don't know what the defense scheme was that game. Because right. them, them defense backs are 10 yards, 15 yards off of slants. You got Sharice Wright. Oh, okay, he didn't cover a bid. And uh, Tavon Young. Tavon Young, he a young, he a young though. He a young boy. Like, I like him. Sorry, sorry, he went to Dunbar somewhere. Dunbar, D.C. Yeah, yeah. But he like somewhere. Yeah, he, you know what I'm he a young boy out of Temple. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he pretty good, though. Like, he a rookie. You know, you gonna, you gonna take that from a rookie. Yeah. But you got Sharice Wright. Oh, well. Yo, get disrespected every game. Yeah, he does. Michael Crabtree. <laughs> Michael Crabtree, <laughs> Red Lotto against him. Like, yo. I don't remember you for the 49ers. He think he think yo, and Carl, give me the rock, yo. Yeah, he did. And, he, and he did. that's why we lost that game. He definitely did. But on a but on real though, like, even though the Ravens struggling, mm -hmm. we got a good chance to win a division. Which is crazy. <laughs> Which is very crazy. Uh 
I, I, I like oh the running back West. You know, right, he well, right, I, 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 Dixon, I like the whole the whole running back staff. I think they're really good. I think the line when the line's healthy, we have a great line. We got a young line though. That's what we gonna be got. T, we got T rookies you know, starting on the left side. We have Steve Smith. Right. We have he's an Mike Wallace. You know what I'm right. saying? You know he's a one trick pony, but he is doing what he's supposed to do. We right. have eight tight ends, but like right. six of them got hurt. Right. right. Where was Crack Gilmore? Right. I didn't even see Crack Gilmore. They hurt. Yeah. Right. Crack is hurt because he's solid. But Dennis Pitt is kind of having a great comeback season. Right. 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 But uh, Joe Flacco. Flacco, um, can I ask you? You have these weapons. Everybody says Joe Flacco never has weapons. He has weapons now, and uh, I just I just see five yard outs, and he's overthrowing them. You know, if anybody went to the Raider game, when you could have came back down, he's overthrowing, underthrowing certain right, routes right. that I don't understand. Joe Flacco could throw an eighty yard bomb with the best of them, but a ten yard out, Joe Flacco has problems running that West Coast offense. Right. He gets offensive coordinators fired. If I was an offensive coordinator, I went for an interview and I say Joe Flacco will be there. Oh, I'm, I'll pass. I do not want to take this guy. It's inconsistent. Now, do I love him during postseason time? Yes, but he has an inner calm about him. All right, but we need him during regular season. Come get tired of going on the road on the road right. playoffs. If we had some home, we had some home games. I give us a couple Super Bowls. A couple. If we didn't have to go to Pittsburgh or New England, we should have beat New England a couple years. You know, we should have beat them with the Lee Evans phony yeah. drop. We should have beat them when they started running on fake ass plays. We was up ten, up ten points twice. Joe Flacco, you got paid. I understand you got paid. Keep on dropping them C's, man. You need to, you know what I'm saying? Chill out. That's, that's, that's another reason why you're probably struggling. Yeah, yeah. You have a lot of kids out here, Joe. You have a lot of yeah, kids. Yo. Don't, hey, stay with us. But, uh, yeah, but Joe, Joe is definitely, you know, he's type, like I said, he needs to do certain things better. But another thing I don't like is John Harbaugh. I'm not a big John Harbaugh fan. I think he's the guy at the casino that rolls too much dice. You know, he's the one that got the table. You say, hey, let's walk away. He won't walk away. Right. Why? Well, he's like, he might tell me have to. I think I have a matchup. <laughs> who could go on fourth down the most? All right, or who could do something stupid to cost the team the most? Cost the Ravens a couple games. Cost us the Washington game. Definitely. Cost us the Oakland game. Right, right. What? We, we do, what, what look, it was points. fourth down. Let them kick the field goal. Get the what points. Do do? What do you do with uh, Oakland? Made it third down to nineteen. What do they do? Got the first down, scored touchdown on that drive. Right. Hey, John Harbaugh. Right. You, you keep on playing. Steve Bushai, you're going to get that call. Right, yeah, you know. Ryan Bullock, Ryan Bullock thought that Super Bowl was going to keep him um, employed. Right. All right. Seven years later, yeah. it was, it was a dog. And I always say he made the first five years, made the playoffs, six years. Right. Yeah. Welcome back to the Doe and Deuce podcast. Um, we're going to get in our pop culture um, part of the program. Uh, our favorite show, well, our favorite show on TV right, right now, now. Right, right now, right now. You know, he, you know we got Thrones yeah, and if you know how power, power, you know. All the good shows yeah. out there. Uh, a, a show that people like, it was probably on ATL. But, oh, ATL, uh, yeah, yeah. Child's Gone Beat Game, you know, that show definitely, uh, it was high, it was high, definitely high. It was, high. It was very high. funny. Uh, but uh, Walking Dead. Everybody loved The Walking Dead. Everybody loved The Walking Dead. If you don't like it, I don't know what's wrong. You need to start watching it. You need to start watching it. Um, but right now, what you think about the Walking Dead? How you feel about it? It's so so, you know. First episode was kind of. Uh, it was real. It was real. Negan came out there, you know, it, with it, the, the bat, you, you know, know Lucille, Lucille, Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> hitting them homers, you know, my yeah, yeah. man. Uh, yeah. What my man that got? My man. Uh, Mama Yeah, you know what my man that got his head hit off? Um, um the red dude. Him. What, what was your name? Man, we do. We love the show. Don't do man. What was his name? The redhead dude. Yeah, the man? military guy. The yeah, military guy. Y'all know who he is. And the uh, Asian guy. And the Asian guy, Glenn. You Glenn, know, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Glenn got his head took it off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my man Rick was kind of reckless, though. Rick, right. you know, Glenn, hey, Glenn had to die. Glenn did it real time. Glenn put him in dead in the other season. Yeah, the other season. Wait, how the hell are you going to come from underneath the trash can? <laughs> like, y'all ain't going to come out of nowhere. Y'all ain't going to come out of nowhere. He wasn't going to survive that. Yeah, and, uh. You know why we knew Glenn was gone? <laughs> yeah, he definitely was. You know, he had to go. But, uh. Rick, how you gonna tell a guy you gonna kill somebody and he's deeper than you? Right. I, I know you got pride, brother, but uh, you don't don't cost people their lives. You know, my man had to take them, mm-hmm. throw them in a the trailer, then drove around <laughs> and went a bagel, and they drove down the street and all this. You know, it's kind of funny though, cause I'm like, this guy nigga walks around like he's bulletproof. Right. I don't think they say like, like y'all got a bag. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if, you come, if you come put up in my complex, we got all this. They had all those guns. Right. Like, they had enough guns to kill everybody who stepped to them. Not, oh, they got Daryl. They might kill Daryl. Right. Sorry, Daryl. Yeah. You're counts to a war. Right. Yeah, you you gotta go. I, if I was Daryl, I don't want y'all to kill these clowns. You know what I'm saying? Kill me. I, I'm dead. Once you take me, I'm gone. Yeah. You're a prisoner of war. I'm gonna take Daryl as collateral. Right. Uh, guess what? You pulled up to my complex. We got all them guns. Right. You gotta go. Right, right. But, uh, you know, it was all funny because people don't do the backstory of how <laughs> the other people got them set up. 
Right. You know, they were like, take them out. They didn't tell them they were that deep. Right. They just thought they was a little... The little girl, that was, that's not the same thing. Yeah, they came, they came, they right. deep as I don't know why. My man, uh, was, you know, Negan was here. I, I see my man Negan. The yeah. little the, the blonde dude, I yeah. guess you um took your wife or something. Yeah, yeah. you know, the score. <laughs> you was scared, scared of Neo, yo. Yeah. Everybody scared of Negan. Yeah, yeah, that one episode, they kept on playing that song back then. Oh, yeah, I, I would've went crazy. I would've went crazy. <laughs> I would've went crazy. Yo, I would've laughing, yo. I was like, man, I would've went, I would've been, all right, what you want? What you need? Right, I'm, I'm down with your team. They were giving you the door, cat food. Yeah, cat food, dog food, whatever. My man was, he had no love for man. This last past episode, I think, I think Maggie about to run that, run that operation yeah, now. Yeah, you she, can tell. She, yeah, she definitely, but you know they can't, they, they, um, Nigga and them think she dead. Right, right, right. So right. she can't, woof, I'm telling you. Negan don't play, but I don't, all I don't think about Negan is how he got that stamina. Right. He, he don't do good to his death like, you know what I'm saying, a leather jacket? Right. I know, man, I would have been tired. Yeah, these guys are the best, man. I tell you, TV's the best. Right, but right. Uh, Walking Dead, if you ain't on it, you need to get up on it. Uh, Marshawn, I, I don't know what you think she's going to be doing. Right. How you think they going to get out of this? Like, right. what, you, what you think? How you think they're getting out of this? Yeah, I don't know. That's a might be some inside job. Yeah, I think Carl. I think Carl's gonna do some crazy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Carl, he Carl, ready. Yeah, Carl, Carl ready. Carl, like I'm ready. You know, you got to stay living like that. I, we not, I'm not used to living like this. Right. And when you used to live like some way, you like, all right. But if you used to living free, right. That's all he knows. So you know, hopefully that you know they get out of it. But stay tuned in the Walking Dead. You know, we'll definitely we'll be back on this. I got a couple nuggets. Another show. They're fair. That's pretty good. Showtime. Yeah, a lot of people not on that. Not on Check that out. Check They're out. fair. Yeah. Showtime. They're fair. You know, definitely gotta watch it. But y'all, we we about to end the part. You know, mm -hmm. just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Doing these part. You know, follow me on Twitter, these Biggie. Yeah, you can follow me on uh, Instagram, Doa Brown, D O A H B R W N. You know. And we got the um. The Do and Deez Pod Twitter, so at Do and Deez Pod and Facebook Twitter. is going to smell too. So just, just subscribe, share, you know what I'm saying? Just share. It don't take nothing to push a right. button. All you got to do is press like, yeah, you know. Like it'll take long. Leave some of the comments if you want us yeah, to. Yeah, we're going to debate it, you know. You, you, what, you, what you don't like, leave right. it down there. We're going to debate it. You know? have topics you want us to go over, so leave it in the comment section. All right, so this is episode one, you know, so it was a good job. We, All right. we see y'all next time. All right.